Is that right? Then suddenly SA node fires. Suddenly SA node fire. And first electrical event start. That is the spreading of depolarization on atria. And which electrical vector is produced? Atrial vector is produced. What is produced? Atrial vector is produced. When this atrial vector is produced, this atrial depolarizing vector is moving towards the positive electrode or away? It is moving towards the positive electrode. So deflection should be positive. You know that when positive charges move to the positive electrode, deflection will be positive. So needle will move upward. Remember that this side is, this is zero position. Here it is positive side and this is negative side. Deflections which are upward, they are positive deflection. Deflections which are downward, they are negative deflection. So when atria is undergoing depolarization, a small vector is moving towards the positive electrode. So there will be small positive deflection. And it is moderate velocity. So this will be, needle will go upward positively with moderate speed, not fast speed. So as paper is moving under it, so during atrial depolarization, when needle is gradually lifted upward as this vector is moving towards the positive electrode, this wave will be generated on the paper. This wave represent what thing? Atrial depolarization. This wave is gen generated by the needle in response to atrial depolarizing vector, right? And this is a slow wave, not a fast wave. Is that right? And a small deflection because atrial vector is small one. What is the next electrical event? Now atrial completely depolarized. When atrial completely depolarized, needle will come back to neutral position. Clear? Now the next electrical event is, what is this? AV nodal depolarization. When AV node is undergoing depolarization, do you think there is any significant current which will move the needle? No. So we say this electrically heart is silent. We say this AV nodal silence. So when current is conducting through AV node, these electrodes don't pick up any activity, so needle will remain straight. So after the end of the atrial depolarization and before the beginning of ventricular depolarization, current is held in AV node, but that current activity is so small that needle is not, electrode don't sense anything, needle will not move, so there will be a straight line. So this straight line represents that needle is not fluctuating. Why the needle is not fluctuating? Because right now current is passing through AV node and AV node is a small tissue. Electrical activity is so small the needle does not fluctuate. Is that right? So this small piece, right, this represent conduction through AV node. Is that right? What is the next electrical event? Suddenly current is released into Purkinje system. As soon as current is released into Purkinje system, ventricular depolarization start. Depolarization wave spreads through the ventricle. The first electrical event is septal depolarization. Now, when ventricular septal is undergoing depolarization, a small vector is produced. So there will, will be small deflection. But this vector is moving towards the positive electrode or this vector is moving away. Because this vector is moving away from the positive electrode, so deflection will be negative, but small deflection. And because it is fast vector, so there is small deflection, which is negative, but slow or fast? Fast. So needle will move, when ventricular depolarization is there, needle will move fastly, a little deflection down, and then come back. So when it will rapidly move, it will make a vector wave like this. So this wave, this needle fluctuation represent septal ventricular septal depolarization. Is that right? The first wave is called P wave. So P wave represent atrial depolarization. After that this straight line represent conduction through AV node. Then this is showing the onset of ventricular depolarization and the small but fast negative wave here it is representing what ventricular septal depolarization right now what is the next electrical event next electrical event is 
current is going now to the major part of the both ventricles and both ventricles when major ventricular depolarization is start going on now the next electrical event is after the septal depolarization there is major ventricular depolarization during major ventricular depolarization a very strong vector is produced downward and leftward strong and fast the strong and fast vector which is representing the electrical activity in major ventricular depolarization this vector is moving towards the positive electrode or away it is moving towards the positive electrode so deflection will be negative or positive it will be positive because positive charge is moving towards the positive electrode so deflection will be positive number one number two deflection will be slow or fast fast and deflection will be small or big so what happens strong big deflection in a fast fashion so when needle when major ventricular depolarization is going on a very strong and fast vector approaching the positive electrode needle suddenly move strongly positively but fastly so needle suddenly move upward and comes down so this this wave is this is called r wave and this wave is due to major ventricular depolarization this r wave is produced by the sudden upward deflection of needle and this deflection is fast it reaches rapidly to the peak and come down and what is it is representing it is representing the major ventricular depolarization which is strong depolarization but fast depolarization and deposition is moving downward and leftward toward the positive electrode so because deposition is moving towards the positive electrode deflection is positive because it is strong vector so deflection is high amplitude and because fast vector so deflection is sudden up and down am i clear after that what is the next electrical event next electrical event is the last electrical event in spread of ventricular depolarization so last electrical event is now current goes to the basal part of the ventricle when depolarizing current reaches basal part of the ventricle it produces small vectors which are moving upward and rightward now listen carefully these basal ventricular depolarization produces small vectors which are moving upward and rightward so these vectors are moving towards the positive electrode or away away so when these vectors are generated they are moving away from the positive electrode they will produce a negative deflection and because these are small vectors so they will produce small negative deflection and fast vector so there will be small negative but fast deflection so needle will move a little down and then back so that will produce small negative deflection is that right and this is s wave so s wave is representative of s wave is representative of re representative of basal ventricular depolarization now let's look at whole this complex the three waves q r s three waves together are called q r s complex again listen q wave represent here in this uh, uh, study which we are doing q wave is representing ventricular, ventricular septal depolarization r wave shows that depolarization spreading over major ventricular part and s wave is showing that we uh, depolarization spread into basal ventricular part am i clear up to this now i will make one more diagram to make your concept more clear and let's suppose we take the paper roll up to this point Okay, then this frame also needs to be extended. Okay, our ECG machine has a now larger paper to see the other events also. Listen, let me make it very simple here. That okay. 